applied six weeks ago for money, have not received anything. I know you keep saying they'll get their money, it'll come when it comes, but a lot of these people live paycheck to paycheck. They've gone weeks without money. What more can you do to try and help them? Look, it's something we work at every day. Uh, it's not a New York problem. It's a nationwide problem. The number of unemployed hit an all-time high. Uh, they all call the local unemployment office in the state. Every state is dealing with this. I talked to the governors on, on joint conference calls. Every state is overwhelmed and trying to design new technology and new apps and new this. Uh, our state actually is doing much, much better than the other states in how many people haven't been able to sign up. We have over 1,000 people working on phones and technology. It's even more now, right? 3,000 now. 3,000 people hired just to man phones and the website, et cetera. So we have the number down dramatically, but it was just a sheer function of quantity and volume. Now, good news, bad news. Yes, it's frustrating as heck. Good news is the check, it doesn't cost you any money. You will get the check for the same period of time, but your point is right. You are without that check until you get signed up. But the numbers are way down. Melissa, do you remember the... So right now we've paid out $3.1 billion to over 1.5 million people. And as the governor said, we're heads and shoulders above all the other states who are dealing with this crisis. The problem is that as we get the backlog down in the previous weeks, that continues to build. You know, we're still getting claims in real time. Uh, right now we're down to around 400,000 outstanding claims. The majority of those are the pandemic unemployment insurance, the self-contractors, the gig employees, people who are out of work because their kids' schools are closed, um, which is something that the state has never dealt with before. That was new as a result of the CARES Act that was done at the end of March. Um, and so the Department of Labor, as the governor said, we now have 3,000 people that are working on this issue, um, and they're going to keep working at it till everybody gets their money. The one thing I will say is uh, the governor did an executive order um, that said that you can't be evicted for the 90 days, and obviously that's something that will extend going forward if that's necessary. Um, so while folks are waiting to get this process and while we get through this, um, at least they know they can't be evicted from their homes, and they will get the back pay back to the first day that they were due it. Um, and we understand and we sympathize and we're asking people to please remain patient and we're doing everything we can to resolve the problem. You were asked about the exposure for some of the folks yesterday and you said you believed it was three dozen or so. I spoke to three dozen families myself, just me, that had someone else's information in the mail, their social security numbers, their phone numbers, where they worked, all their financial information. So you had a chance to re-examine that so that's what we were aware of as of yesterday morning. We did a further investigation. It appears there was one mailing that was the problem where literally two pieces of paper when they were printed and collated were stuck together and then that caused the whole mailing to be off. Um, and so we haven't identified the specific number. They're looking at that right now, but at a, out of an abundance of caution, everyone whose um, forms were printed and mailed that day are gonna receive free credit monitoring for an entire year and they're having their claims prioritized. So they are working on that. As of yesterday morning, that was the number. We fear that number is higher, but we have isolated the one mailing that it was impacted from. I can get that information too. It was the end of last week. So, sure. 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 Sure.